Hi guys, let's start a new uh, exercise, exercise 18b. In 18a, we learned how to organize the data and in 18b, we learn how to present the data in a manner that is far more readable and it's visually, uh, you are able to visually see the data. So here we'll be using uh, two things. One is how to le learn how to make a histogram and learn how to make a frequency polygon. So, uh, what is a histogram? Histogram is nothing but a bar graph with no space in between. So we've done a bar graph in grade 7 as well as grade 8. Uh, it's exactly the same as a bar graph except that between the two bars there is no space. So in bar graphs you would make a distance of uh, one unit between each bar. Here there would be no distance between each bar. So there will be a continuous uh, block of uh, towers which will uh, make a histogram. Uh, let's see how to create it. So I am on question number one. It says uh, and then there is a frequency polygon. Now what's a frequency polygon? Question one is about a frequency polygon. What's a frequency polygon? Frequency polygon is basically a polygon which means it's a closed shape. right? So it's a closed figure and it starts from x-axis and ends at x-axis. So it starts and ends at x-axis and it's a closed shape. Now what does it represent? You will be uh, plotting the frequency along with the class mark of each class interval. So I've made a table already. You will be plotting the class mark along with the frequency for each one. This is plotted on an xy axis. So let's see, a 0 to 4, I should have written the frequency. The frequency is 4. The next one is 7. The next is 10. Next is 15. Next is 11. Then is 6. So the class mark of 0 to 4, I notice that this is already a continuous data. This is made only on continuous data, right? If it is not continuous data, we will need to make it into a continuous data. So let's look at this. What do I have? Uh, I have class mark as 2. This is 6. 12 plus 8 by 2, that's 10, which means 8 is increasing by 4 every time. So 14, 18, 22. And what do I have to plot? I need to plot the class mark with the frequency. So class mark on the x-axis, frequency on the y-axis class mark on the x-axis, frequency on the y-axis, class mark and frequency, class mark is 14, frequency is 15, class mark is 18, frequency is 11, class mark is 22, frequency is 6. Now, uh, the, the last column that I have made, it is not mandatory for you to make it in your table. This is mandatory from the exam marks perspective this is not mandatory i do it for my reference so that i don't end up making a mistake so i always write to plot in my uh, table i hope you've noticed that i have left one row blank here and one row blank here we'll come to that later so the first i need to figure out how to uh, mark my axis um, so i have on the x axis i have to go from 2 up to 22. So that if, if I take that 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14, 16, 18. No, I won't be able to go up to 22. So what do I do? Maybe I should take gaps of uh, 4. Right? So 0, 4, 8, 12, 16, 20, 24. Perfect. I should be able to get there. So I should take gaps of 4. So if I take this as 0, I'll mark this as 4. This is 8. This is 12, this is 16, this is 20, this is 24, and I'll take one extra which is 28. I have put this as x axis, one thing which is mandatory. What am I plotting here? As per the question, I'm plotting class interval on this side. Uh, next, on the y axis, I need to go from 4 up to 15. Right? So, I do not have 15 on the top, so let me take intervals of 2, which means I'll have to go up to 8. Yeah, that's fine. I have 8. So this is 2, this is 4, this is 6, 
this is 8, this is 10, this is 12, 14, 16. And this is my y axis. And what am I plotting on this? I'm plotting frequency. So these are mandatory things that I need to write. Frequency increasing this way, class interval increasing this way. Perfect. So what do I have to plot? 2 with 4. So 2 is here, the middle point going up to here, 4. Perfect. Now please note that I'm using a scan of a graph which is from your graph book. This is the exact graph, kind of graph which uh, the ICSE board gives you. So I recommend that you use 2 by 2 graph. Using any other graph is also fine, but if you use a graph with the ICC board, in any case, is going to give you uh, might as well practice on that. Next is 6 with 7, that's 6 with 7, right in the middle of 6 to 8. Next is 10 with 10, so in the middle with 10. Next is uh, 14 with 15, so in the middle with 15, right up the here. Next is 18 with 11. So 18 with 11. Next is 22 with 6. So I've plotted these numbers. Now I'll have to join them. Please note that this software does not allow me to use a scale. Uh, but since this is a frequency polygon, which means it's a polygon, it's a closed shape. I will have to use a scale. I will write here, use a scale. It's a mandatory thing. I am unable to use a scale because this software does not allow me to use a scale. It does not have the facility of a scale. I am using freehand, but you will use a scale. This is mandatory. I can't say this more often. If you use freehand like the way I'm doing, you straight away get zero. Use a scale. Use a scale to join these points. Now notice that I said it's a closed shape. Now the shape that I have drawn is not closed at all. How can I close it? I also said it starts from the x-axis, ends at the x-axis. Which means to start at the x-axis and end at the x-axis, I need one class interval before the one given in the question and one class interval after what's given in the question. So I will create a new class interval. So this is 24 to 28, right? With gaps of four. The frequency, well, there is no, um, no item which is occurring in this frequency. So the frequency is obviously zero. The class map of this will be 26 and I will plot 26 with zero. So I plot 26 with zero and I join it on this side. Perfect. So now I have closed it from one side. Let me try and close it from the other side. So this is 0 to 4, which means the previous one will be negative 4 to 0. Perfect. The frequency again, there is no item in this uh, class interval 0. The class mark will be negative 2 and I will plot negative 2 with 0. So here, this is, I'll mark it as negative 4. This is negative 2. And I will join this. So now this is a frequency polygon that I've created. Next step, I need to write the scale. On the scale, I've taken on X axis, I've taken 2 centimeter because this is a 2 centimeter block is equal to 4 units. And on Y axis, I've taken 2 centimeter is equal to two units. Perfect. So let us look at the question that we did. Couple of things which are uh, I need to highlight. You find the class mark in the middle first. First thing you do is find the class mark. Next, you figure out what you need to plot. So we are creating a frequency polygon. So for that, you will need to plot the class mark with the frequency. Class mark on the x-axis, frequency on the y-axis. So here I have plotted on the x-axis class interval of which I have plotted the class mark which is exactly the middle of my class interval. And after joining this I realize that it will not close. So I need to insert one class interval in the mid in the beginning and one class interval right at the end. What will be the frequencies of this class interval? 
zero and this will give me a closed shape which is a frequency polygon now i will be uh, uh, making graphs for each separate question separately as a separate video so i will see you again with question number two uh, in the next video i'm doing this so that you have time for you to create your own graph take time pause it and make your own graph thank you take care bye bye